Welcome to another episode of Dinosaurs and Mysteries. Big Cats in the UK, episode 12. So I'm on my way to a the location, or the closest I can get to a location, of a sighting from back in the late 2021. However, on my way, I'm just walking down this public path. And on each side, plenty of times before, there is... It's not a woods, but it is like a woodland type area on each side. And that path in front and all the sides surrounding leads to a ship canal which runs for miles. And alongside of it is a, a freight industrial train track. So there's an embankment with loads of water obviously a canal running through and dense greenery and bushes and that is where a big cat sighting has happened um, and not just in that area on that same embankment by that same canal miles away someone else has seen it now this is like you know two years old now um, but it's the first I've heard of it. I did some digging this morning and I wanted to actually go to a big cat sighting location or very, very close to one near me. So there's a couple of bridges that run by it, um, the Ship Canal. It was Manchester Ship Canal, but it runs through near where I live because it's that big. So uh, on my way down, I'm just I've been looking out for any uh, potential big cat prints on the floor because um, when you look at areas like this especially beyond the path all the bushes and the density of the the greenery inside you know anything could could be walking around at night so anyway uh, let's head towards uh, this sighting So the canal behind me runs all the way through to Manchester and there are several bridges. There's one in that direction and there's a few in the opposite direction. Now there are houses on the opposite side looking down onto the embankment and this is the Trans Pennine Trail. Now it was on around 11 o'clock on the 13th of February that a gentleman called William was in his kitchen um, by the, uh, the sink and he spotted a very, very large uh, panther-like creature. It was black and it was too big to be a dog. And he described that its tail was too long and curly to be that of a dog also. Now, he witnessed it walking along the trail for about a minute or two until then he disappeared into the bush area and most likely continued along the embankment. Now there has been a similar sighting near Ellesmere Port and that also runs along the side of a canal. So could these big cats be following routes, you know, very long leading trails that also have high density areas of bush and water flowing along it? Now there's been more big cat sightings in Warrington near me. Uh, but this is the closest one I could get to physically. Now I don't know if it was actually on this part of it. This runs quite a long way so it could have been further down but that's where the houses are and that's the only place I can think of someone viewing the canal and embankment from the house. So that's a, a sighting relatively local to me, well very local to me, although it did take me quite a while to, to get it considering I've come here all the time. Um, but yeah uh, just wanted to put that out there, a local site in near me. Um, do these big cats follow long trails uh, where there's water and high density bushland to keep hidden? Don't know, let me know what you think.
So following the DNA evidence, the DNA evidence of big cats confirmed in the UK, uh, a couple from Nimshire in Gloucestershire uh, set up a camera near some woodland near where they live and captured a what they believe to be is a big cat. Now this is after DNA evidence has been confirmed that a black leopard was in a particular area of the UK and I've already covered that in my uh, previous video. Now I've seen the pictures obviously um, they're not the best you can see clearly see an animal you can see that it's black you can see one picture is of, of its what I believe is its head and the other picture is of the back end of it so it walking away. Um, I'll put them on the screen now and let me know what you think uh, so this is from July, so this is quite, this is very recent and post DNA, DNA evidence. So do you think it is a big cat or is the picture not good enough to tell? Or do you think that it's a different animal? Let me know and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Big Cats in the UK. Stay safe.